We begin the news at 530 with the breaking news and really it's heartbreaking. We've been following this in Prince George's County right now. Police are searching for the person who shot and killed a teenage girl near Duval High School in Lanham and police just confirmed us uh, moments ago the worst that yeah. this girl has died. Yeah, now this all happened on Palomar and Woodstream drives. That's right near Duval High School and Robert Goddard Middle School. Both schools were on lockdown until about 10 minutes ago. Our Casey Nolan just arrived on scene and Casey, what more are you learning from police tonight? Less so we expect to hear from the Prince George's County Police Chief any minute now. In the meantime, I will show you the scene you are talking about. And while we don't know much, as you said, what we do know is not good. Uh, we just confirmed with police that the young woman who was shot and killed here is a student, was a student at the high school just across the street that you may be able to see. We have some footage from Sky 9 that shows the, the proximity here of this police scene where this is all happened according to police and then the high school that you said was one of two that was in lockdown i can tell you it happened just before four so uh you know real close to the time that school lets out there's still a lot of students uh leaving campus as we arrived here on scene uh, but again, the, the tragic news, the worst case scenario here for students uh, that we were told that this is a student who was shot and is uh, has died uh, from this shooting here, a, a young woman, we are told. So again, Les and Zoe, we expect to hear from the Prince George's County Police Chief any minute now. When we get more information, we'll bring it to you. We'll send it back to you for now. It is a devastating update, Casey, yeah. and uh, we know you'll be following it and we'll continue to do this as well and to track what happened here, why this young girl was shot and who may have shot her. Again, you can stick with us for updates and also download our WUSA 9 app on your phone.